Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I uh, got pink eye. It really sucks because nobody likes that. And ended up um, not feeling good and having to sleep a lot and all that stuff. And didn't want any makeup at all around my face. So today we're doing something different. And um, I just went ahead and did a whole video on Girl Scouts. And they're doing a collab with Heart Candy. And they have a whole bunch of makeup products coming out. I have on the lipstick right now. This one is called uh, Coconut Caramel. And um, this is Hard Candy also. It's uh, Sunkissed, but this isn't part of the Girl Scout line. So I had these two on. And um, the only makeup that I've really even wanted to put on my face is this one. It's a Milani Glow. Um, and with this one, it's 29%. Yeah. 29% squalene and so it just makes it this is what I go for every time whenever my face is feeling like I overdid it with the peels or anything this is what I put on there and so this is going uh, real well right now I did go ahead and use the essence um, let's see thick and wow uh, this one and this one's in caramel blonde as well and then I did go ahead and to use the hard candy as far as um, this is their brown mascara. It's part of the Girl Scout collection. And the name on this one is Volumizing Mascara. Yeah, Indulgent Volumizing Mascara. So that's what I have on there. And then... Um, so this is like the first time in a couple of days that I've even had any makeup on my face except for that one video that I did. And uh, so what I did was I went on to Amazon and I got <clears throat> I got some fun stuff. I got the Universe Cosmetic Colorist Kit. So we're going to make our own eyeshadows today. Yeah, yeah, I got the the fun stuff. So, um, yeah, I came with everything that I need. And uh, these are pretty hard to find. I was uh, checking the Hobby Lobby website, the Michaels website, and I finally got this one on the Amazon. Um, lip gloss kits to make your own lip gloss are much more popular than this kind of stuff is right now but it like i said it came with everything i need and um, my instructions are nice and big so that i can read them and then it also came with this cool poster that tells me all about stuff and so down here it says that Madam C.J. Walker became the first female self-made millionaire in America by developing beauty products for black women in the 1900s. She owned a factory, hair salon, and beauty schools to teach other women how to style and sell makeup too. So this is a really cool poster with all sorts of good information and facts on it and stuff like that. And yes, this is definitely geared toward the probably 10 to 15 year olds. And that's fine because, you know, I don't know a lot about it. So um, I got this so I can go ahead and press my eyeshadows. And this is my binder solution so that we can get them all going. Um, it came with a whole bunch of different, well, not a whole bunch of different hues, what, four of these. And so, um, yeah. And it came with some mixing supplies. So, like these little cups, and then this little scooper duper. And let's see, what else did I get in here? I got a Z palette, and as you can see, I've already been playing, and so I've been working on how to go ahead and get these done. And, um, oh, did I show you these? The little, yeah, the makeup pants. Uh, the makeup pants actually hold a lot more than I thought they did. So that was pretty interesting. I didn't think that you got that much product when you did, but you do. So that's, I think, all my product. Oh, except for this. Hold on. So I had picked up this. It's called Baltic 
day. It's by Pure Soul. It's chameleon pigments. So these are actually multi-chrome pigments. They look like this. And um, you can go ahead and mix them, I guess, with resin to go ahead and do DIY arts and crafts painting. If you want to go ahead and do that, there are about 20 of them in this box. Um, but on each one of them, they don't have a name or anything, but they tell you what's in them. So on this one, uh, this is going to be a blue and gold. Shift there. This one is actually blue, cyan, and purple. And this one I already made an eyeshadow out of. So, yeah, like this one right here. So the two eyeshadows I have in the Z palette are the eyeshadows that I have on my eye right now. And um, so I went ahead and put the blue uh, like an eyeliner and then the gold. Um, it actually comes out to be a really light gold with some multi crumbs in it. And I went ahead and put that right above it. And so I did okay on the blue one as far as getting the amount of binder in there. On the gold one, I put too much blind binder and it's a little bit goopy right now. I'm hoping that it will go ahead and maybe, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know, dry out a little bit. So that's what I have going on there. They also sent me some stickers. So I got stickers to put on my Z palette. So yeah, I got that too. So I thought that was really cool. And as far as going ahead and mixing these, uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. I guess we'll actually have to take the lid off of this one. So this one is more. And uh, the pigment does get all over everywhere. Just be aware. It just does that. So these are what you use to mix in it. And this is what you use to scoop. And I'm going to go ahead and do about three scoops here. The other thing I found out by making those first two was, again, that the pans actually hold, let's see, a lot more um, and you have to use more pigment than they actually say to fill up a pan because they were saying like two to three scoops of these and that isn't filling up the pan I'm using about four scoops at this point and this one let's see, this one is the multi-chrome one from pure soul and it has blue and gold green in there so, let's go ahead and add a couple of scoops of this one. I'm going to need to break this one. There we go. And one second here. There we go. It's nice to have another Z palette. I only have one. At least I've been running around with one for I don't know how many years, a lot of years at this point. So, Okay, so with this one, we'll go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do five or six scoops here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and mix it up. Um, the only thing that I'm actually adding right now is a couple of um, mixing bowls that I went ahead and brought up. And um, I, like I said, since this stuff is all going to get stained, I got some plastic utensils that I have hanging around to go ahead and do this as well. With this, it says about three drops but I've been finding that it's taking more like five to six to do it. So three, four, five, five, six. Okay. So this is, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up. Um, on the instructions here, it said that these, um, that once you put the binder in, it should go ahead and feel like uh, wet sand. 
and that's sort of the consistency that it should be at and I think this one is actually going to need a little bit more I don't want to do what I did with the gold because gold is really goopy I have to throw that one out but anyway um, let's see if we can do this one yeah I'm not a DIYer the time that I did the most DIY or DIY was um, when I was in Girl Scouts I'm just not one of those handy type of people when it comes to stuff like that so yeah this is better in fact I think I actually made a double batch here so I'm going to add just a little bit more binder binder and um, you can I looked up several different recipes online and the reason I went with the kit was because the recipes would start getting really out there and um, they suggest with beginners that you go ahead and you buy your binder um, already made um, you can go ahead and make your own binder and the binder and the actual pigment formulas are the two things that they patent that um, the companies consider to be their formulas or their secrets and they don't let anybody know what's in there so with binder I saw all sorts of different things that you could put in there a lot of the time they went ahead and suggested that you um, use rubbing alcohol like two or three drops of rubbing alcohol just to make it easier to go ahead and mix them and um, they were saying with matte shadows that you want to go ahead and get a grinder so that you grind um, the pigment up even more than it is you know when you get it uh, there were some other things a low of vera gel to put in there and some other stuff as well so okay I think that we are pretty well mixed at this point so uh, oh and the other thing it's much easier going ahead and mixing mica which the multi crumbs are made out of rather than going ahead and mixing up a batch of matte because with a matte eyeshadow again they want you to go ahead and get another um, grinder so that you can go ahead and grind the powder even um, finer than it's already been ground and there are a couple of extra steps in there so it's actually easier to do your own DIY eyeshadow for an eyeshadow that's made out of mica than it is to go ahead and do a matte eyeshadow and I thought that it would be the other way around but it isn't so um, let me go ahead and dump some of this into one of the pans and then I'll show you about pressing it and it's all pretty messy the other thing that they sent me was actually a little it's a piece of cardboard here that I can go ahead and put down and then do all the work on and that way it'll get all the you know at least hopefully a lot of the um, stuff so uh, yeah this is the way that it looks before it's been pressed and this is what came in the packet as far as going ahead and pressing so yep it's what I've been using and there we go pressing one two three four one two three and actually you know another thing that I read when I was uh, reading all this stuff was that when you're pressing they suggest to go ahead and do a light layer press it to another layer press it and do another layer and press it because you know how full that was now that I've gone ahead and pressed it not that much I mean it looks like it's about halfway full right now so let's go ahead and add some more and we'll do another pressing here So once again, here's the pan, and let's see what we got here. 
And I think the other thing that I was going to mention today is, I know I've mentioned the pink eye, but uh, when you get something like that, you really need to go ahead and clean your makeup. And I knew that um, the professional makeup artists uh, go ahead and use rubbing alcohol to clean their makeup, but I didn't really know how to do it. I found a Wayne Goss video from 14 years ago explaining how uh, professional makeup artists will go ahead and put rubbing alcohol into a spray bottle and then go ahead and spray all their powder products, even some of their cream products, to go ahead and clean them off in between clients. And so, oh, I have enough to do a third pressing. Let's go ahead and do a third pressing. So that's my whole thing tomorrow, is that I will be doing a whole cleaning thing with all of that stuff. Okay, so this is only turning out to make one pan of eyeshadow, and that was a lot of pigment and a lot of product. So here it is again, and I'll go ahead and press it one more time here. Uh, they also said that, you know, even though even if you put your whole weight into it you really can't press a shadow if you try to press it all at one time to really go ahead and do the three pressings that's really what was recommended on this one so here's the way that it ended up looking at the end I'm going to put a little bit on here Okay, so um, here, let me do a swatch for you, too. So here's how it turned out. Actually, let's get some more. So here's how the shadow turned out. And in this case, it turned out pretty light. But it does have a lot of reflectiveness to it. And it's the first time that I've ever been able to say I've made all the eyeshadows, literally made all the eyeshadows that are on my face. So, I don't know, does it look better from over here? I don't know if you can really, there we go. Now I can see it. Yeah, this one is a light one. It just is. So, okay, so the blue I did go ahead and make the um everything all the eyeshadow on my eye and so i have the blue here and then yeah uh the newer one on the outer corner and the other one on the inner corner so that's what i have going on there um i thought it would be much fun to go ahead and find out how it is and what it is and how they are doing makeup formulation since I really didn't have any idea. Uh, there are all sorts of places online to get information if you're interested in any of it. I did, like I said, I just got the kit because I wanted to figure it out. And since I've been stuck inside here, it's sort of been kind of something to do um, on a snow day, sick day kind of thing. So Anyway, I hope you've liked the video. Um, if you do want to get into this stuff, like I said, there is all sorts of stuff on the internet to go ahead and find. And um, I think that that's the whole video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that it has brightened your day. It's definitely brightened mine. And I will see you later. Bye.